Okay, welcome back. I just finished sewing these sets, not sets, but the strips together. So now I have two piles right there, and we're going to connect this one to this one. And then when I iron them, I'm going to iron the seam open down the middle. It's not on the side. They were ironed this direction, but I'm going to do the ones in the middle straight down. So let me go ahead and let's get sewing that now. So now what you do when you do these is you're going to be matching the yellow. Here's what I'm talking about. First off, you want these two yellows because they're going to have to meet. So they have to meet like that. So since I ironed them all upward, now I have to take one and bend it down. So since I took this one up, I took that one down. Same with the next. I put this one up. Since I put this one down, I want it to also go down here. And even though this is more on the back than the front, when you sew that, it's got give in it, so it will bury it. It'll sew it automatically. And then just go ahead and pin it all the way down and do every one of those like that. All right, now what we're gonna do is, before we put our green right side and bottom on, depending on our square. What we're going to do is we're going to be squaring it up to five and a half inches. My ruler is six and a half. I have the line that's important and you're gonna put it down the middle seam on your block because you want five and a half inches. So I'm going up. Um, To the top of that the very top here's the five and a half a little bit down here um, I don't even know if my thing is five and a half inches well that helped okay so there's five and a half okay but I'll tell you what I would have thought there should have been more up here because that whole yellow is not even going to get in there. If I go to the tip top on that, I'm losing part of my yellow flower. Hmm. And I don't think that's right. Well, that's my five and a half right there. Five and a half. So there's the block. They're going to take the green. Let's see. The picture says to come down the, lay it like that. You're going to come down this side. And then this one's going to go down this side. You do all six of them like that. Iron them really good. Square them up. And then after you've cut them, we'll sew the green to them. Now you're going to put this five and a half inch on the right hand side and we're going to chain stitch it
Now I'm going to show you the one that was trimmed incorrectly because I was going to trim them first, but I shouldn't have. And so what I did was I had to put fabric on it. Let me show it to you real quick here. In order to make up that corner because I didn't have enough fabric on it. And now we need to iron these open because we need to be putting the green down the right hand side. Okay, so now that both the, the green are on, the next thing I want you to do is take it and turn it so that the yellow is at the bottom left. You're going to take your BG1, which is the large blue square, and you're going to sew it on the top like this. So we're going to pin that first. I'm just going to pin it on each end. It shouldn't need any more pins than that. And um, a couple of things about this block. First off, if I did this block again, for some reason, I would not do it a quarter inch. I would do it a scant. And the only thing that would make this block better is if this block was actually made paper pieced. Because then it would have come out the perfect size. It would not have been shortchanged the way that I feel it got because of the way it's made and with the templates and all that. To me, the paper piecing would have been a lot easier than the templates. And I really don't know if I've seen a flower like this in the paper piecing. Probably, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's one out there. I haven't seen it. Alrighty, so that was the first block. And it says to make two of them. So I'm gonna make another one. Turn the yellow down to the corner and take the blue one and put it on top, right sides together, because it's gonna go on the very tip top when it gets done. And this is just us building the tail end of the blocks before we're finished. And I'm not even gonna put a pin at the end, I'm gonna just have one here at the start, just to get me started. Okay, so that was the first two. Now it says we're going to be making two of these three and a half inch. And now we're going to take our flower and it is going to go upward to the right. And we're putting two squares on this one. So let me pin it because it's going on the top as well as the bottom. It does not say to make two, but I think it wants us to make two. Now we're going to iron these open. Now the tail end of this is putting the blocks, and there's three of them together. So we begin by putting the left hand side is the flower, which is what I'm calling it, on the bottom with the yellow face in the left. That's our first block. And then we're going to add the one where the two blues are have been added to the square. So the square is in the middle. And that's what I'm doing now, is I'm sewing those two together. It'll be two sets, because it's two blocks when it's all done. 
and all I did was pin the right, the left. I went in the middle where there was a seam here. And then I went on each seam on each block. both of these so I'm going to chain stitch the two and then I'll pin the other two and chain stitch them and I'll be finished okay so when you sew this you want to be careful because all the different seams on both sides so just take your time. I put a lot of pins in here. Okay, let me get this iron and we'll take a look at it. Okay, it's all finished and it is called Lasting Blocks. So, looks like flowers to me, but I don't know. Unless that's the name of them. But thank you for joining me for this video, this murder mystery of 2019. I hope you learned something. And I will see you next time. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like, subscribe, and click on that little bell so that you get notices. And I really do like the colors in this because of that brightness of that yellow. Bye-bye.